Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News, and it is reported that Anonymous has uh, hacked a number of Russian uh, websites, government-related websites, you may be familiar with this, and threatened cyber war against Russia. Well, uh, a Russian hacking group called KillNet has evidently uh, struck back and brought down a key website related to Anonymous, along with some other Ukrainian uh, paramilitary group and uh, websites and the Ukrainian president's office. Now, this piece I'm looking at is written from a Russian perspective, so I'm not going to use some of the uh, the, the more uh, base language in it. But uh, on Tuesday, yesterday, according to some users, users who tried to access Anonymous's official website, which is anonymoushackers.net, they met with a message, sorry, that didn't work. Please try again, come back later, and got a 500 error, which is an internal server error. And then they also uh, were uh, met with a video, which I will show you some of right here. Basically, it's, it's sort of like a takeoff of Anonymous. And uh, what was said, some of what was said in that video translated to English is this. Greetings, Russians and friendly union nations. The Internet is full of fake information about the hacking of Russian banks, hacks on Russian media servers, and much more. None of this poses any danger to people. This information bomb is merely text and nothing more. Do not fall for fake information on the Internet. Have no doubts about your country, said the hackers. KillNet noted that very soon this conflict will end and we will find peace. And went on to say, don't be afraid, Russia. So we have that propaganda right there. Um, I believe that this hack probably took place, that there has been this back and forth. And this has been my primary concern through all of this. Uh, certainly more than, I mean, as much as death, destruction, further death and, and destruction that could come from a cyber war that could spring out of this, folks. And that's not something I say lightly. That is a legitimate threat that we all have to be uh, prepared for. Um, so you have this back and forth, evidently, between Anonymous and KillNet. And uh these are very frightening and trying times. I mean, these certainly are, folks, and we need to be mentally, physically, and spiritually prepared for anything. That's why I draw strength from Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39, which say, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Please like this video, please share, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, bell icon for notifications of new uploads. This is Jim, God bless you, and I will see you soon.